MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. Andrew, collaborative robot, what is it? Tell me about it. Yeah, a collaborative robot for us, we've, we've got um, our CR35 uh, IA robot here, 35 kilo payload robot that allows uh, people to, to work in the presence of a robot without uh, traditional guarding and interlocks. So compared to, yeah, you'd normally have guarding around it, how, how useful is this going to be to a manufacturer? Uh, in terms of manufacturing, this will allow a lot more space around the robot. Um, for uh, other equipment to come in, to people to interact with the robot um, and be really more uh, more efficient with their space in their manufacturing uh, facilities. And how would you go about programming a robot like this? Is it the same? Oh, it's exactly the same. These robots can be put into standard robot mode, uh, programmed up uh, in the same way. We can, as you see, we can interact with the robot. We can also manipulate it by hand to move it into positions. But fundamentally, anybody with a standard industrial robot from FANUC will program this robot in the same way. And you've got two sizes, you've got a big one and a small one. Yeah, we've got a CR7 that uh, we've just brought out. Um, we've got it on the other end of the stand, just serving drinks to customers. Um, as you see, no guarding uh, around it. The, you can interact with the robot, stop it uh, if it gets in the way. Um, they work under a, a slightly slower speed um, than a traditional robot. And finally, why is it green? Uh, it's green just really for us to differentiate between a, a standard industrial robot and um, one that's uh, in a collaborative uh, format. Brilliant. Thanks, Andrew. Okay. Thanks, Paul.